Hello, my name is Tommy Dombavand, and I'm the author of the children's comedy horror series Scream Street. Uh, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here because it's the 13th of September, which means it's Roll Doll Day. And I'm here to talk about my favourite Roll Doll book. Now, asking someone to choose their favourite Roll Doll book is very hard. It's a bit like asking someone to choose their favourite child. But thankfully, I was able to do that several weeks ago, and the loser is now chained to the wall in my basement. But here, I have my favourite Roll Doll book. Danny, the champion of the world. Now, it's a bit of a surprise, this one, because I like reading and writing funny stories. But this has got to be one of Roald Dahl's most serious children's books. There aren't any big slapstick scenes, really. There aren't any over-the-top comical characters. But there is a truly heartwarming story. And it's all about a young lad called Danny who lives with his dad in a caravan. But every night, Danny's dad vanishes. And Danny doesn't know where his dad goes to. So the bit I'm going to read for you is when, finally, Danny's dad spills the beans. <clears throat> My father put a match to the wick of the lamp hanging from the ceiling and the little yellow flame sprang up and filled the inside of the caravan with pale light. How about a hot drink, he said. Yes, please. He lit the paraffin burner and put the kettle on to boil. I've decided something, he said. I am going to let you in on the deepest, darkest secret of my whole life. I was sitting up in my bunk watching my father. You asked me where I'd been, he said. The truth is, I was up in Hazel's Wood. Hazel's Wood, I cried. That's miles away. Six and a half, my father said. I know I shouldn't have gone, and I'm very, very sorry about it, but I had such a powerful yearning. His voice trailed away into nothingness. But why would you want to go all the way up to Hazel's Wood, I asked. He spooned cocoa powder and sugar into two mugs, doing it very slowly and levelling each spoonful as though he were measuring medicine. Do you know what is meant by poaching, he asked. Poaching? Not really, no. It means going up into the woods in the dead of night and coming back with something for the pot. Poachers in other places poach all sorts of different things, but around here, it's always pheasants. You mean stealing them? I asked, aghast. We don't look at it that way, my father said. Poaching is an art. A great poacher is a great artist. Is that actually what you were doing in Hazel's Wood, Dad? Poaching pheasants. I was practising the art, he said. The art of poaching. So there we have it. Danny's dad finally reveals that he's into some serious stuff that could really get him into trouble. But eventually Danny comes round and helps him with a fantastic idea involving raisins. And it all ends up wonderfully for Danny and his dad and a big red face for Mr Hazel, the landowner. So, have a wonderful Roald Dahl day. Go out, have a Roald Dahl story and have a dollicious time. Bye.